Shortly before going back to the Philippines, I met with President Vladimir Putin in Moscow after official plans were changed to facilitate our meeting. I express appreciation for the warm welcome, hospitality extended to me and my delegation after their flexibility and understanding to reschedule our meeting. Russia is a true friend. We look forward to strengthening political and security relations with Russia and to building security cooperation framework. The emergence of new forms of terrorism and the existence of non-traditional security threats reinforce the need to broaden and widen our network of friends and allies to strengthen our security cooperation. While we seek to enhance regional and global collaboration, it is our constitutional mandate to enforce the law and provide security. It is our constitutional duty to ensure that every family, every community, all Filipinos are assured to live in peace and harmony. If I think that the ISIS has already taken foothold also in Luzon, and terrorism is not really far behind, I might declare martial law throughout the country to protect the people. I am appealing to the humanity of everybody, especially those who saw terror. Do not allow the ISIS to come in. I warn you again, do not do it. Because, as I have said, my response would be hard. I will not hesitate to do anything and everything to protect and preserve the Filipino nation.